We have a, a slight issue here because when I spoke to uh, John and asked him if he had put something together like we were asked to do, John said yes. <clears throat> so here I am with something to say. <laughs> and John to say thank you. So I'm at a crossroads right now whether I go on with this or I cut my losses and say thank you. So um, I, I just want to let everyone know that I'm, I'm very thankful and honored to uh, uh, to accept this position as deputy chief. It's, as many of you know, not something that I uh, took lightly and took uh, a very long time to consider, several times actually. And um, I just wanna go over real quickly here the reasons why I did take this position. And um, it's in no particular order, it's just kind of uh, when I was jotting some things down the other day. And first off is uh, we have a great, we have a lot of great things here at Carroll Stream and it's nothing to take away from the other members. Uh, it's our turn to talk about Carroll Stream, and part of our greatness is because of the other members from the other departments. Um, our board of trustees are uh, very supportive, and, and uh, in this day and age, that's what we need is a supportive board. And um, they have a, their pulse on what we're doing, um, how we're doing, and what's next on the radar. And uh, we're very thankful for that. That's something that a lot of fire uh, districts uh, don't have, and they're always here for us and uh, they're always asking how we're doing, and I appreciate that. Um, our command staff uh, is the best of the best. Uh, to John, B.C. Blandy, John Blandy, and B.C. Reed, Dave Reed, um, I thank you two guys uh, for helping me when I uh, was promoted to battalion chief to take the time off, uh, out of your day, and a lot of times on your off time to show me the ropes, and, and to see you doing that with John Morris now, uh, it's just awesome. to to Chief Administrative uh, Officer Johnson to just show the administrative side and, and learn how much there is to the fire department outside of responding to calls is, is overwhelming. And uh, to Chief Hoff, uh, never in a million years did I ever think that I would be working for uh, Chief Hoff. You are uh, a great leader, you're a compassionate person, and uh, you, you just, you truly, truly, genuinely care about each and every person that comes in their, this firehouse whether they're from Carroll Stream or they're from uh, another organization or just someone off the street. And I appreciate that. You've had a huge influence on my career and um, you are a guy that just enforces one thing and that is for everybody to come home. And uh, I think that's, at the end of the day, what we all strive to, to do. Um, I firmly believe that this job is about people. It's always about people, whether it's on the inside of these doors and it's our people, or it's on the outside of these doors in the form of the citizens that we are here to serve. And um, for Carroll Stream specifically, the status quo is never good enough for us. And it certainly isn't good enough for, for these gentlemen up here, and it's passed on to our firefighters and officers, and it shows. And I, I don't think that's ever gonna change here at Carroll Stream. Um, it's, it's always looking how to do something better, how, how to tweak something, and, and how, what we can do different next time for the better. Um, some of the, the first lines of, of when somebody's in a bad way, and unfortunately when we leave on these doors, leave outside these doors, it's not because somebody's having a good day. And typically the first people that they see is the members of our fire department. And I can see it, I can sit, stand here and say, I've seen it a hundred times, our people respond, whether they're firefighters, officers, or chief officers, and starting to, to help those people heal, whether their loved one was laying on the ground unresponsive or somebody's house just caught on fire. And when you step, take a step back and you look at that and you watch how our members interact with the citizens when they're in a time of need, that's something pretty special. And for, for the people that aren't in the fire service, you may have been on the receiving end of that and probably not from Carroll Stream from another community. It's not just Carroll Stream, it's in this, this job called the fire service. To the uh, company officers and the firefighters of Carroll Stream, uh, you guys and gals, uh, in my humble opinion, are the best of the best. And you guys push me to my outer limits. And I mean that primarily in a good way. Uh, you guys are, it's just, it's great to come in here and, um, you know, it could be quarter to six in the morning and our shift changes until eight o'clock and the coffee pot's going and guys are out and about and talking and that's a cool thing and that doesn't happen everywhere and you guys take that energy and you transform it for the company officers into your crews and you transform it into your firefighters and the firefighters transform it into their people that they're bringing up and ultimately gets transformed outside here 
on the street. And I'm pretty lucky to, to have, be a part of that. To the other members of the other departments, um, I'm pretty lucky to be part of an organization that really reaches out to the other communities. We can honestly say here in this area that we truly utilize the other fire departments. Um, and we utilize them in ways that, that other departments in this nation haven't even thought of doing. And to that, we're trying to make this job much safer for ourselves and ultimately much safer for our citizens. And um, not only do we do it on calls, but we do it in the form of training, we do it in the form of administration training, we do it in the form of sharing resources. And to that, I'm very thankful to be part of. Here in Carroll Stream, I'm also very thankful to, um, and this doesn't happen too often in fire districts, but we have a really special relationship with the village of Carroll Stream, uh, specifically our police officers. There's many uh, police officers that don't know uh, their fire department, they don't know the names. And for us, we know just about every uh, name, and, and if we don't know their name, we know their face. Uh, to the village, learning more and more new faces, again, we got a special thing going on with the village of Carroll Stream. And to that, I'm very thankful to be part of that, because not uh, everybody in the fire service is able to say that they have a great working relationship. Again, I'm very humbled uh, to be in this position, and uh, my goal is to, to continue doing what we've been doing, to continue empowering our people, and to continue to push them. And um, can't guarantee it, but our ultimate goal is to make sure that everybody arrives back safe, and uh, that we just keep striving for the next best thing. Thank you.